So I know I've made this video before, but since it's gone, I'm going to make it again. This is for anybody not super familiar with John Deere cylinders. They are a little bit different. So as you can see here, you got an external snap ring. First thing you need to do is pop that bad boy off of there. Let it hang out here on the rod. Next, you're going to want to clean the groove out in the gland pretty good. Once you get all the mung cleaned out of the groove, I like to take some penetrant spray in there. Croil. And you take a soft flat punch such as this brass one and you want to knock the gland into the tube knock the gland into the tube you see that groove in there you're going to want to clean that groove out and then get your new seal kit out but here your orange filler ring out of your kit and you're going to insert that filler ring into that groove now you see the profile of that it's teardrop shaped you always want to face that teardrop in so like this ring is installed like so now all you got to do is give her a good pull needed two hands for that give her a good pull and she'll pop right out so what that filler ring does is it collapses that internal snap ring right there on the gland and allows you to pull it out past that groove now as usual you break your cylinder down here uh, clean it up and replace the seal just remember the impact gun didn't take that off now with these John Deere cylinders, when the rod seals start to leak, they get the water down in them and then rust right down in here behind the wear band. Make sure you clean that out good because your new wear band is not going to fit in there properly and you will not be able to get the gland back on the rod. All right, new seals in there. Get it all lubed up and ready. Back on there. And there you go. The ring compressor to relax the piston seal. Little dab will do you. Pull your filler ring out. Make sure the end of the tube's nice and clean. You don't want to get hung up or tear any seals going in. Now, once you got everything all looped up, you can install your rod assembly back into your tube. Back in, push the gland in until you get to your snap ring. And this is going to be a little frustrating, but you're going to have to try to work that snap ring back down into the tube. All right, so after a few choice words and contemplating my life choices, uh, got the snap ring in there. Uh, what I do is I take couple screwdrivers and I just work it around and then tap on the gland until it pops into the groove and once the snap ring is in the tube tap the gland in until it locks in might have to pull out on it a little bit and then you'll hear it there it's locked now and you take your external snap ring snap it back on like so and if you don't know now you know